think I might be starting to figure this whole thing out. Stick around, we're getting into it right now. Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Manya and I've lost over 30 pounds on the WW Purple Plan, eating primarily a whole food plant-based diet. Today I'm going to show you everything that I eat to stay on plan. If you want to skip around, there'll be timestamps below. You can go to each meal, or if you don't want to see the food at all, you can skip right to the end where I will report back on my weekly weigh-in results as well as um, talk about how my week went. Thanks for being here. Let's get into breakfast. Okay, here is breakfast. This is what I've taken to calling my loaded oatmeal. It is old fashioned oats cooked in water on the bottom and then a bunch of fruit. So today I have uh, frozen peaches, frozen blueberries that I thawed for about an hour on the counter and banana. And then I also have zero points worth of chia seeds, hemp seeds, and flaxseed meal. I'll try to pack a lot of nutrients. And then I have some cinnamon, turmeric, and black pepper because you don't want to eat turmeric without black pepper. It helps with the absorption. And then I've been drinking coffee all morning made in my French press. And then as per usual, I have water. Always have water going. I had an electrolyte a tab with potassium first, and then I put some magnesium powder second, and then from here I'll just drink regular water all day long. So that is breakfast. Okay, another morning, another mason jar full of grapes, and that was my morning snack that I almost forgot to tell you about.
dinner. First, these are homemade corn tortillas made out of masa and water. Uh, corn tortillas, I should have prepared this. One medium corn tortilla is two points. These are very small, so I'm gonna count it as two points. And then I also have a salad. I picked these out of my garden <laughs> with a Y. Uh, you saw me, hopefully I showed you some footage of me uh, snipping all these greens. I put a little farro on top, and then I made myself a dressing with balsamic vinegar, stone ground mustard, a little date syrup, and soy sauce. Uh, so the date syrup, there was one tablespoon in the whole thing, and so I counted half a tablespoon, because I only used half, and that was two points. And then I forgot, I also am gonna put some cilantro on top of these little tacos. And that is dinner for four points. Okay, here is dessert. Now I had to go uh, really low points on the dessert tonight because my lunch was so hard to point out. <coughs> Excuse me. My lunch was so hard to figure out the points for that I just really don't know where I stand today. And so I decided to go lighter points on this. The peanut powder is two points and then everything else is zero that's got to show me on the bottom mango blueberry i put some vanilla powder in there if you haven't learned about vanilla powder yet y'all it's awesome and uh, cinnamon a little salt just anything to sort of bring out the sweetness and bring up the flavor since i normally put vegan chocolate chips in here so I, um, you know, I like something sweet in the evenings. So that is dessert. That was everything that I ate today. I will say a couple of things about my life and my week. For those of you who have been here for a while, you know that my life imploded, exploded in July. My, uh, my husband, we've been together for 20 years ended our marriage. And so uh, what you see here is my new apartment. So in the span of about three weeks, I moved out. We put our house on the market. I've created a whole new life for myself here. Uh, oh, I went on two trips, one to see my parents and one to a Mexican resort that we were supposed to go to together. So needless to say, it's been a rough month. And many of you have been very kind to me about it. I am really proud of myself that I did not binge emotionally eat. Um, it, it really, some of you have said this to me privately, it feels like the one thing you can control is what you're putting in your mouth. I'm really glad that I lost this weight before this all happened because I would not want to be going through this and feeling gross. Like, I don't know how else to say it. I'm, I'm trying not to be judgmental, but I mean, we all lose weight for a reason and some of it's health, a big part of it's health and some of it's how we look. So uh, I'm really glad I got that out of the way before this happened. I'm nowhere near being close to being ready to date again, but I'm not really looking forward to dating at 46. So I'd love to hear some uh, encouragement, maybe some, some more stories about how you saw yourself through something like this and then dated and that it isn't terrible. But when I am ready, I uh, am, will be glad I know that I feel good about myself and how I look. Okay, let's do my weekly weigh-in results. 
As a reminder, I started in mid-May of 2020 and I weighed 163.2 pounds. That's the weight I'd been for a long time, maybe a decade, probably longer. Today for me is August 4th, 2021, and I weighed in at 131.4 pounds. That means that this week I gained a quarter pound, 0.2, and since I started I have lost 31.8 pounds. I have also started tracking again in August. I decided in June that I was going to take July off because I had these two trips planned and so I thought, you know, I'm, I'm at goal, I will uh, just give myself a break and I won't track in July. And then all this stuff happened and I definitely did not track in July, I just felt like I was holding on by my fingernails. And I said, okay, I'm going to start tracking again in August. And so I did that on August 1st. And I have to tell you guys, I'm not happy about it. <laughs> Tracking is such a pain. Even though on the purple plan, we have so many zero point foods and I don't track my zero point foods, I'm still finding it annoying because I was really enjoying kind of relaxing a bit, but now I'm a pound and a half over my goal and I've gained two weeks in a row. Last week I gained a pound and a half and then this week I gained 0.2. So things are not heading in the right direction and I am not upset and I'm not panicking because let's be honest, I'm still 131 pounds, so I'm okay. But uh, these things cannot continue, right? So I'm back to tracking and I'm not happy about it. The other thing that's really, really hard, this is by far the hardest thing now that I'm settling and people are finding out about this, everyone is being a really, really good friend and wants to take me out to eat. <laughs> I have work lunches in restaurants, I have friend dinners, I have all of these things and it's so much easier for those of us on Purple to just eat at home that I'm really struggling with choosing low point foods in restaurants uh, I have a video about tips around how to eat purple in restaurants and I'll link that above and below. But the reality is, is there's no substitute for eating at home when you're on purple. If you wanna eat out all the time, you might be better served on a different color plan because purple is not designed for that. So multiple days in a row of lunches are um, taking their toll a little bit. And you saw what I ate for lunch today and I did my best to make some good choices, but I could tell as I was eating that Vietnamese cabbage salad, I could tell there was sugar in the sauce. They made like, it was delicious, like a sweet and vinegary sauce that they put on top. And so I just, you know, I don't know how to point any of that lunch that I had today. So I'm just, I did my best and I put in the tracker and I'm gonna move on. So and I've just really been wanting to eat this week. Maybe it's that time of the month, I'm not sure, or maybe it's because I'm settled and I'm starting to relax into my new place and I just, I just wanna relax and eat junky food. But yeah, I'm having a hard time. So I'll get past this, just gotta keep my head down. My strategy for when this kind of thing happens is uh, I don't contract and get stricter with myself. What I do is I try to give myself healthier substitutes that um, fulfill that craving a little bit. I'm not talking about sugar-free food. I'm talking about like when I make my peanut powder, my peanut butter for my oatmeal at night, I'll use agave, a little agave, point it out and weighed. Uh, or I have this date syrup and I'll just sweeten it up a little bit or I'll use a lot of fruit, like something to just raise up the sweetness level. Um, carbohydrates are a little harder. I do, I love pretzels, I love chips, I love, so what can I eat that's that's crunchy and salty and but still healthy and low point? It's, it's a challenge, this might be a popcorn kind of situation. Um, but overall, Things are good in, in my world. 
As always, it is good to see you. You got this. Um, I love hearing from you. If you want to contact me directly, in the description box below is my email, or you can comment for everyone to see. Let's create community. Thanks again. Bye.